Hello everyone, so totally different type of video that I'm doing at the moment. This is uh, going back to the old Raspberry Pi that I haven't played around with for as much as I want to recently. Now this is more to help out a friend of mine, Paul Elliott, he's having some problems and it actually surrounds Octopi and the Wi-Fi setup and I had this problem myself and it was really giving me grief. But if I just explain to you what's happening initially then I'm going to show you just on a quick way to get around it. Now what you will notice here I'm actually already connected to my Raspberry Pi. The reason being is I've got no real nice clean way of being able to do this kind of video without having to plug it into my TV but this principle is going to work so essentially what I'm going to want uh, someone to do if you're following this video is take your Raspberry Pi and plug in a USB keyboard you probably won't need a mouse for this but by all means you can do and also you're going to need your HDMI cable plugged into the back of your TV so plug it all together get the uh, Raspberry Pi powered up and you'll come up with a uh, start screen so all you'll need to do is type in the default password uh, sorry unit username uh, Pi password Raspberry and you should be able to get in and you should be able to get into a screen pretty much the same as this so if I go through the the standardized well standard instructions that you kind of a lot of people are going through, uh, they're being told to go to uh, file. If I go in here, so there's a file called octoprint network.txt. So to get and edit that is you know, sorry uh, sudo nano, which is a text editor uh, octo Pi, oops, network, and generally, what you're being asked to do is to put your, essentially your Wi-Fi router uh, SSID in here, and then enter in your password. And I tried umpteen times to try and get this to work for me, even though that my uh, internet is set up quite happily for W. PA, WPA2, and I've had the uh, Edimax Wi Fi USB, uh, micro USB Wi Fi chip thing, whatever you want to call it, working okay. And it didn't work for me. However, there's a, there is a workaround. And so, what I'll do is I'll just come out of that. And so what you need to do is go into, uh, if I just go straight into, so if you type CD. ECT and uh, network. Oops, network. There we go. Just do a quick ls. And what I'm wanting to do is get into this file, and you can get into this file um, to edit it by typing. I keep on doing this. sudo nano interfaces. And generally. What I've done is added the following here. And this is all you've got to do at the moment. Now you can see down here, uh, if I flip, flip backwards and forwards, I probably shouldn't do this, should have done this better. But just drop a hashtag in front of where it says source octopi network. That'll just stop that file that we've just looked at being um, looked up when it's looking in the Wi-Fi here. So what you want to do is just make sure that you've got all this information here. So um, don't use any form of tab uh, setting, uh, so using the tab button, but literally just type the text out. So you want auto space WLAN zero, allow dash hot plug space WLAN zero, iFace space WLAN zero space init, space DHCP and then this line here and what we'll do is I want to copy this the time so um, with you using the keyboard and etc whilst you're on the screen you probably be best just writing this element down but I'm just going to copy it for now because I can do so what I'm going to do is I'm assuming that I've typed all that incorrectly what you want to do is press control and X uh, if you've made any form of modification it would have given you a prompt to save it. And then next what I want to do is do sudo 
nano and what I want to then do is paste so literally what is it uh, giving the instructions I want to edit wrong way apologies try to cheat too much you want to edit this particular file and this is the directory to it I'll just show you that way so that's what you want to do so what you want to do is you put your um, SSID, SSID in there and then your password this is the setup for WPA dash PSK this all works for me you just want to make sure that you've got everything in here as it's written then again control X and come out then if you want to then uh, do a pseudo reboot which I won't press enter on the moment because I won't be able to get back in without plugging this back in downstairs so if you follow those instructions that should be able to get you up and running with the Wi-Fi with Octopi uh, by all means uh, post let me know I'll, I'll try to help the best I can I wouldn't say I'm a professional on Linux by a long shot there are a lot more clever people out there than me uh, so but I'll do my best to help out if you can but if you follow that I think that might get you as a workaround. Um, some people are having success with different versions of the Raspberry Pi, but I know that uh, my friend Paul's really struggling with this, and I don't want to use him. I want him to use it as a shooting target. So, by all means, like, share, subscribe. But hopefully, that'll get you up and running with the Octopi.